Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the three keys to throwing 70 feet with the high school shot put. So check it out. Quick side note, wanted to make sure that we understand that as we go into the off season, there's so many things that you're gonna start be thinking about. 2020 season, of course, had been completely hammered due to COVID-19. One of the things that as we start talking about, we're gonna start spending some time getting that gear shift and how we really put together our training, how we're gonna be making those big important gains. That's gonna be the focus of a lot of what we're gonna be helping you guys with. So today's video, that's what we're kind of talking about, bigger picture so that you approach your training in a better way. So enjoy the video. Hey everybody, thanks for watching today's video. Uh, a couple weeks back, we had posted a video on Instagram that compared two of our 70 foot shot putters. We had Matt Katnick who had thrown 72-3 and we had Tyson Jones a couple years later who went 71-8 and three quarters. A side note fact that I thought was like an interesting thing, Katnick had thrown 72-3 uh, at, at two different meets and Tyson had thrown 71-8 and three quarters at two different meets and they were back to back and, and Katnick Katnick's and we're, we're pretty close. Both throwers had some really impressive careers. Katnick had uh, six competitions and over 20 throws over 70 feet. And Tyson had five competitions over 70 feet and roughly, I want to say, a dozen throws over 70 feet. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about, I was I was going to do this a couple of different ways. We did a comparison, like I said, on Instagram. We'll throw that so you guys can see it. But one of the key things we thought would be more important is how did we get both these guys to 70 feet? They didn't start out. They weren't. Uh, they were both very talented. They both threw well. I think Katnick threw like 48 feet as a freshman in the shot. Tyson threw about 51 feet in the shot and so both were really talented I started working with Tyson at the beginning of before sophomore year so I was with both of these guys when they threw uh, both broke 60 and when they both broke uh, 70 feet so it was pretty cool to to go through those barriers with the two of them actually I was with Tyson when he broke 55 then 60 then 65 and so all of these both of them also through the discus counting through 183 Tyson through 195 so the key thing is when we're talking about three keys to throwing 70 feet. Size is definitely a, a major help, right? Both these guys are big guys, um, very agile. Again, Katnick being 6'3", 305, Tyson being 6'3 and a half, 295. So they're very similar in stature. So their technical application of the throwing chain reaction was really similar. So while size is clearly going to be help if you're Ryan Krauser, you know, and you're 6'7 and you weigh 315 pounds and you're incredibly fast and talented, that's going to be a huge help. And this certainly helps both of these athletes. However, you can be a, a world champion, a two-time world champion, an Olympic silver medalist like Joe Kovacs, who's five, 10 and three quarters. He too, though, is about 300 and, you know, 15 to 20 pounds, incredible strength levels. So those are kind of your obvious, but what obvious things, what we're going to talk about here specifically are three things. And what we talk about as we cue this up, we're going to look at what we call as our pillar one. Pillar one is the start of the throw. So pillar one and two, are really the big keys. So the start is really key. So you're going to notice how one of the things we do is we, we teach these guys a specific rhythm and you're going to notice that when we um, have them here, they have a, they have similar starts. And when you look at where they start, Katnick tend to get a little bit more stretch. Um, we changed up some things. What you see with these two throws are neither one of their best throws, but both very good throws. In this particular throw, Katnick's at 71 uh, three and a quarter, and this is like 70 foot three for Tyson. Again, when we look at that start, the big thing is uh, what people don't understand is there's very specific actions that have to occur. Now, there are always the stylistic aspects of a throw. And again, these two have similar styles because of similar attributes. But you're gonna notice here, there's gonna be some slight subtle differences. And I'm gonna give the nod to Katnick here. He gets around and he keeps the shoulders a little bit more level. And you're gonna notice how he really works works around and we see that position 
And then Tyson, again, does the same thing, a little bit wider sweep leg, a little bit of a different entry, but you're gonna see how Katnick's knee comes down to the throw. So the first key to throwing, to getting yourself to throw, whether it's 55, 60, or 70 feet, you've gotta understand how to set up your throw and move around the axis. Again, in our throwing chain reaction system, we call that pillar one and two. And so if you don't understand what's going on in one, it's not arbitrary, we're, not, we're doing very specific technical things when we set up our wind, and how we create power at the back of the throw to move out and around the axis. So the start, I would say, is always number one. Some people are gonna say the finish, but my argument is if you are off balance, which is our second thing, balance, but if you are off balance and you're falling into the throw, it's gonna be very difficult to set up your throw. And again, that's the whole point of what we teach in our throwing chain reaction system. We're teaching you the mechanics and understand what you need to do so that you're spending more time understanding how to get on balance. So our second thing, that that gets you to those barrier breakers is going to be getting on balance. So if your start is clean in what we again says, setting up the chain reaction, we're gonna set up maximum power. Those are the two objectives and setting up maximum power is being able to set up that left entry or that entry axis, because if you're right-handed, it's your entry, right? Your entry side, so what you're doing with the arm. And you're gonna notice in this video that both of these guys have pretty good long arms and nice sweep legs. Katnick has a little bit more of a better entry, so this is what we set up into what we call as our pillar three, but this is gonna be able to create balance and speed. So the second criteria is balance. Real quick, if you're an Airtay Throws Nation TCR Online member, be sure to log into your dashboard. We're gonna have a special video where we break down each thrower side by side and compare their six pillars and go in depth. Check it out. And so as we're setting these positions, you're gonna notice that Katnick has slightly better balance, and then what we're gonna do is have him transition to his pillar, we call S4, and then you're gonna notice five. Katnick had a phenomenal delivery leg, and that was, again, we rarely worked on the delivery leg. We worked on setting up the start, setting up those pillar one, two, three, and we worked on really getting them on balance and creating speed, which is the third criteria. So I'm gonna talk kind of back and forth about balance and speed. And so you here you're gonna notice that Tyson, same thing, he kind of came through. He has a nice transition, but he, if we look at the two positions here, you're gonna notice when we get here that Katnick has a slightly better position and the, sh the, the block side shoulder is coming around a little bit more. So the balance was a little bit better and therefore the speed amplifies. So you have to be able to set up that start. You've got to be able to, with the objective of creating the best balanced uh, forceful position to create speed. Here's the key thing, you, the further, the more speed you create, the farther you're gonna throw. That is absolutely how it works. And remember with both of these athletes going into their senior year of high school, both of them had very successful junior years. Katnick had gone 65-5, Tyson had gone 67-7. And so the key thing is getting that next, you know, three to five feet is no easy task. Speed is the name of the game. So while we got their strength levels key, and of course these are some things that go without saying that strength and speed are absolutely critical and size is, is definitely a huge advantage but speed is the name of the game which is how you can get a two-time world champion and an olympic silver medalist like joe kovacs who's five ten and three quarters who is one of the best guys in the history of the sport the best guy in the world speed is the name of the game so what we focus on with both these athletes is speed 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 and if we don't set up properly so if we don't set the process and the chain reaction we don't set how to get on balance, the speed factor. If you're falling off or you're falling through the throw, sure, you can learn to hit the finish. And both of these guys had exceptional finishes. And of course, we spent plenty of time teaching them how to work into their finish, which we're gonna look at now. So as they kind of come in, right, you're gonna notice here, you're gonna notice, you're gonna see that as they come around, we get that nice look at that delivery arm we're really going to be punching and driving the shot into the throw you look at the right leg of katnick this is where you're going to see the difference you're going to see he had a better right leg than tyson this was something we continually worked on we have to go back and look at the way we approach it if we're always creating better balance and therefore that's going to translate to more speed 
the right leg is going to move into the delivery faster. And so for a lot of you guys, you guys are falling off balance out there. You're entering the throw, you're shortening up the beginning. So a lot of you guys out there aren't really setting up. Your start is off. So no matter what you do, you're gonna be struggling because to get on balance and create speed is gonna be super difficult. And these are what we consider the best three things. So let's do this. We've taken a look, we're gonna throw these guys. So here we go, let's check out the quick throw in full speed. Boom, you're gonna notice both these guys, okay? And then you're gonna notice Tyson Jones, okay? And you're gonna watch Tyson and you're gonna see as he comes through, boom, same thing. And he could have come on to that throw a little better and you're gonna see Katnick really hit it. And you're gonna notice that most, both of the th key things is when you set up your start and you set up your entry and then you can create balance and create speed, you're gonna notice the efficiency at the front of the ring. Both of these guys come around, there's not a lot of wasted energy, they hit it because they're transferring everything to the shot. You're not gonna throw 50 feet, 55 feet, 60 feet, 65 or 70 feet without all these things and the better you get with these three components of getting the start of your throw controlled to be able to set up better balance to create more speed the easier those bigger distances come and so just be patient remember those are the keys it's just going to become like more and more details the thing's going to happen the throw is going to happen faster and faster and the more speed you're able to create the farther you're going to throw okay guys so hopefully you found that uh, kind of interesting and hopefully that you didn't think that yeah no kidding but you're going to notice those are the core things to focus on and so many people are focusing on other things and they don't realize they're constantly off balance and it's shortening up their speed that's what's going to prevent you from throwing further okay guys thanks so much for watching today if you like today's video be sure to comment i was going to have you guys comment what you thought down below tell us uh, any other videos you'd like to see coming forward check out our instagram and we will see you on the next video <music>